लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ लेसन नंबर वन हनी सकल हु डिड पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द लेसन लेट एस डिस्कस डू यू लाइक होमवर्क डू यू डू इट योर सेल्फ और डू यू गेट हेल्प वॉट होमवर्क डू यू यूजली हैव यू कैन जॉट द आंसर्स इन योर नोटबुक The story of this lesson is like this Patrick is a very lazy boy he do not like to do his homework one day he saw his cat playing with a little doll but to his surprise it was an elf a man of tiny size when he grabbed it it started yelling not to be given back to the cat the elf promised patrick to grant a wish patrick asked him to do his homework till the end of the semester at this elf felt himself cursed but true to his words he was ready to do his homework but he needed patrick's help just to look up the dictionary and sound out the word by each letter in this way every day in every way the little elf made patrick work now patrick was working harder than ever he was staying up night never felt tired and kept on going to school when patrick got a's his classmates teachers and his parents wondered what had happened to him so the secret was patrick's own inspiration he did his homework himself so we can say that self help is really the best help page 7 honey circle who did patrick's homework patrick never did homework too boring he said He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, "Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing." And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Now as I told you, Patrick is a very lazy boy and instead of doing homework, he is always interested in playing. so he likes to play hockey basketball and nintendo nintendo is a video game it is one of the world's largest video game company you must be knowing mario and all video games so nintendo is one of them so he used to play video games used to play various games but when his teacher told him to do homework he felt it like very boring and when teacher scolded him that you should do your homework otherwise you will not learn a thing he felt that yes i am an ignorant person ignoramus means an ignorant person who lacks education who is not interested in taking up education then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it up so what happened one day he was he found his cat was playing with a little doll and patrick grabbed the cat right away but to his surprise it wasn't a doll so this was a man of the tiniest size he was an elf he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches breeches are short trousers these are very old fashioned clothes and the writer has used this word here breeches to match with witches this man who was an elf he was wearing old fashioned clothes with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witches so like a witch he was wearing a hat which was very high so this man he yelled save me don't give me back to that cat i'll grant you a wish i promise you that he was requesting to patrick please save me from this cat and 
for that he offered that i'll grant your wish patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was he was the answer here was the answer to all of his problems so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days if you do a good enough job i could even get a's patrick quickly thought what grant of wish he should ask for and he told the elf to do his homework till the end of the semester in this semester only 35 days were remaining so he told the elf if you will do your job good enough then i can even get a in my semester the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper we all know what is wrinkle wrinkles are lines on the face we can see wrinkles on the face of old people wrinkled like a dish cloth dish cloth is a cloth which is used to wash the clothes thrown in the hamper hamper is a basket which is having lid so it means his face was frowned he was not very happy he kicked his legs and doubled his fists fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips he was not at all happy whatever wish patrick had asked for and he also said oh am i cursed he felt the elf felt that he was cursed like why did i say this little boy that i will grant your wish he is telling me to do my homework like this he felt but finally the elf said yes i will do it and true to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way now when this elf said okay i'll do it he had problem in understanding whatever homework was given so uh the elf he always needed help and he was he would always say help me help me and patrick had to help him in many ways i don't know this word the elf squeaked squeaked means to complain the the elf he used to complain i don't know this word while reading while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter now the elf started taking help from patrick himself he would ask patrick to find out the meanings of the word then sound out the word letter by letter and all this work he used to get it done from patrick when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked we elves never need that when the time came for maths homework the elf was not even doing what are tables and what are times so he would say that we elves we never need this so again he asked patrick to help him for that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too here as we have seen the elf told patrick in the initial subjects to read out the word letter by letter he asked him to find out the meanings of the word to look up the word now here again when it came to maths he was not knowing a thing he was not knowing what are 
tables he was not knowing what is addition subtraction division fractions so he questioned everything to patrick he made him sit and guide him he told that we elves we know nothing of human history and he said it's like a mystery for us he he was a shouter means he used to shout the elf and now after seeing all that homework he got a bit louder he told patrick to go to the library he asked him for more and more books and he asked patrick to read them too as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag what is a nag nag is a one person who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something so he was a nagging person he was a nagging elf for everything he was asking patrick's help patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and bleary so this was a fact that the man made patrick work hard he started staying up nights and still he did not felt that he is tired he still went to the school with all the puffed eyes with the dull eyes finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door so after all the last day of the school arrived and now the elf felt that i am free to go as he had promised patrick to help him only till the end of the semester so he quietly and slyly means secretly slipped out the back door from the back door of his house he just went off patrick got his a's patrick got a grade in his school his classmates were amazed means they were surprised his teachers smiled and were full of praise here as he got a's his teachers were full of surprise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was not the model kid cleaned his room did his course was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude his parents they wondered what happened to patrick he was like he was acting like a very model kid like a kid to whom all should follow he used to clean his room he was doing all the course course are work that must be done every day he was doing all his everyday routine work he was not rude at all and he had developed a new attitude you see in the end patrick still thought he would have made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself now at the end the writer has told us what was the secret behind patrick's inspiration in the end the writer is asking do you still think that the elf has helped the uh, boy patrick in doing all his homework and all the studies no there is a secret that it was patrick himself himself it was his inspiration which helped him to complete his homework and finally get a grade in the school examination